Good to be with you on this Monday, and I trust you're excited about this week. What a privilege to serve the Lord. And I am burdened in these days that we prepare ourselves for really a new level of ministry in the days ahead. We've talked a lot about it since the beginning of these videos that we've had because of the crises that have been going on. And we're a little bit in a lull right now because things aren't going too badly. And yet there are forces that are working that are definitely going to make there come about a battle for Christianity in the days ahead. And the Apostle Paul uh, encouraged the Philippian believers to understand that even in the midst of the revival they were having in their church and the great blessing that they were having, that in their continuing on, there would be a challenge. He says in verse 27 of chapter 1, only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. He says that your lives need to be right on target, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye may stand fast in one spirit, with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. Now, he was very serious here <clears throat> with these Christians that they were not to lose the tremendous impact of what God had done in their lives. You read in, about the Thessalonican church, how God had done a mighty work there. And then you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, and you find the work of God in all of the Macedonian churches. <clears throat> and clearly here in this epistle, we see that God is working. But he says something that I think is very important. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. And then to verse 29, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. He's saying now don't let the pushback stop the great blessing that God is giving you at this time. Uh, let your lifestyle be consistent. Whether I'm there or I'm not there, stand fast in one spirit. Don't be terrified by what's going on. Understand that if you're going to stand with Christ, you're going to have to suffer for him. Those are some pretty heavy words. And those aren't just given. And those weren't just given to the folks in Macedonia. They're given to us today. This is for our profit, especially... Uh, for those who are in the end of times, which we are. And so we need to realize that God wants us to move forward, and we can't let the situation stop us. We're hearing good reports across the country, but we're also seeing many, many uh, places where Bible Christianity is going down, is pulling back. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of frustration. There's even a lot of anger and the work of God is not being accomplished. We need to take heed to what the Apostle Paul is telling these dear folks. Don't let yourself be surprised by the conflict that's ahead. Keep moving forward because God has great things ahead and God did have great things there. God did a mighty work and God wants to do a mighty work in our lives if we'll trust him. And so it is our wonderful privilege on the behalf of Christ to not just believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake.